Well, hey there, and welcome back to Heimlich's History. In this video, it's time to look at yet another one of your required Supreme Court cases for the AP government curriculum, namely New York Times v. the United States. So if you're ready to get them brain cows milked, well then let's get to it. Okay, so first of all, as always, let's get the facts of the case. So in the late 1960s and into the 1970s, the U.S. was involved in the Vietnam conflict, which was basically an undeclared war. And this was not a war that Americans felt great about because the purpose of our involvement was not because we had been attacked or anything like that, but because of this kind of vague geopolitical purpose of of containing the spread of communism. And as it turned out, despite the magnitude of the U.S. military, we just weren't able to make much progress against the North Vietnamese. And so as tens of thousands of American men were dying for a war that Congress didn't even declare, the public grew cynical about it. But President Johnson and then Richard Nixon just kept telling everyone, listen, we've almost won. We just need a few more men and just a little more time. Like, everything is going great. Well, as it turned out, Nixon commissioned a top-secret inquiry into the history of the U.S. involvement in the war, and the findings were not flattering. It showed how President and agencies had systematically deceived the public concerning the war. And much to Nixon's chagrin, one of the guys who worked on the report leaked huge portions of it to the New York Times and the Washington Post. And newspapers did what newspapers do and started publishing these damning papers, which confirmed what everyone suspected, namely, our government is lying to us and those lies are costing thousands of lives. Well, it only took one publication for the Nixon administration to send an order to the papers to cease publication of top secret documents because it could threaten national security. And this was a procedure called prior restraint. In other words, the Nixon administration tried to keep the paper from publishing these documents before they were printed. And that's how this case wound up before the Supreme Court. So what was the constitutional principle at stake? Well, this is pretty clearly a First Amendment case, specifically a case about the First Amendment's protection of the freedom of the press. The New York Times claimed that Nixon's invocation of prior restraint violated their First Amendment rights. The Nixon administration argued that prior restraint was justified in this case because the publication of these papers would threaten national security. So what was the decision? Well, the court agreed with the New York Times that the Nixon administration's restraining order was unconstitutional and therefore allowed the paper to continue printing the Pentagon Papers. In the opinion handed down by the court, they said that, quote, any system of prior restraints comes to this court bearing a heavy presumption against its constitutional validity. In other words, whenever a case involving the freedom of the press comes before the court, the bar to clear for prior restraint is very high. Now, to be fair, the opinion also made clear that prior restraint can be used if it is really a matter of national security. For example, if a New York Times reporter decided to publish the day and time and landing location of the D-Day invasion? Well, yeah, you can't do that. Prior restraint is justified in that case. But in this case, Nixon just didn't want to be exposed as a deceitful turd who had lied to the American people. And that, my friends, is exactly what the free press is for. So why does this case matter? The decision is, of course, hailed as a victory for the free press against censorship. And despite the criticism that it is received for being overly vague on exactly when prior restraint can be invoked, the decision made it very hard to censor the free press ever since. Okay, thanks for watching. Click right here and grab my ultimate review packet if you want help getting an A in your class and a 5 on your exam in May. Right over here, you can find a playlist of all my other videos covering your required cases. And if you want me to keep making these videos, then by all means, subscribe, and I shall oblige. I'm